Hello and welcome to my first YouTube video. Being my first video, I figured I'd do something easy. Um, got this computer this morning and uh, it's got a password on it, which I don't know the password for. Um, so we are going to remove the password completely. Um, this is a Windows 7 machine, but it will run, it will remove passwords from uh, XP, Vista, and 7, and I believe 98, 95 too, although I have not tried. Um, so basically, what we're going to use is a program called NT Offline password changer and I will put a link down in the description where you can download this from um, you will have to burn it to a disk uh, it is in I believe ISO format um, if you don't know how to burn an ISO um, I will add a link to another tutorial video that will show you how to burn an ISO so basically we'll go ahead and throw in our disk in the drive <clears throat> as you can see there is a password and we don't know what the password is so we'll go ahead and do a fresh reboot and you always want to do a fresh reboot. Don't um, you know? Hold down the power button and make it cut off. Um, that will mark the drive as dirty, and sometimes you can run into problems. So, uh, you know, always boot it up to the Windows log on and then restart. All right, now let's restart. Um, right when this starts booting up, we want to go ahead and start hitting F12 to get the boot menu. Now, Dell's. Dell's boot menu is accessed usually via F12. Uh, it may be something different for other manufacturers. Um, I'll try to post in the description uh, some of the major manufacturer boot keys. Um, but we want to select the CD drive because we want to boot from CD. And here's the welcome screen. Uh, basically gives you a couple options. Um, I usually just go with the default. I've never really had an issue um, to, you know, have to turn off USB support and uh, stuff like that. So let's just hit enter, and this will load up our Linux environment. And the Linux environment just basically mounts the drive and lets us edit the system registry files without actually being in Windows. And step one. Here it shows your, your different partitions. Um, we have one hard drive in this computer, and as you can see, there's two different partitions. Um, typically, the smallest one uh, is going to be usually a system managed partition or a recovery partition. Um, the bigger one is typically going to be your Windows installation. Um, if you have more hard drives on here, you may have more uh, partitions. Uh, it usually should be one of the first two or three. Now, anything in, in a bracket down here uh, is going to be the default. Uh, you can just hit enter. Um, but we want number two right here for the second partition. Hit enter. It'll try to find the Windows paths. Um, if it doesn't find it, most likely you have to select a different partition because you didn't find the, the partition that contains Windows. Um, here it's just the default Windows System 32 config. Hit enter. Now it'll ask us what we want to do. We want to password reset. One. Edit user data and passwords. Hit enter. Now here's the user list. Um, basically shows all our users whether they have admin privileges and whether there's a password. If it's dislock, dislock, then it's got a password. So administrator is selected by default and it's asking us which one we want to do. So let's go ahead and hit enter. Just do administrator. Um, one for quit pa clear password. Then we'll hit period to list users again. And really the main one we want to do is Steve. Because we don't know Steve's password. Alright, so type in Steve, hit enter. Hit one again and enter to clear the password. You'll see it show right here that this password's cleared. Um, after you get done with all those, do uh, exclamation point to quit. And here it'll ask us, do we want to go back in? Do we want to edit anything else? Just hit Q for quit. And once all those are edited, now we have to write it back to the disk. And it'll ask us right here whether we want to write. We want to hit yes. And it'll ask us if we want to go again. And uh, hit no for default. Now once you get that hash mark, you're pretty much done. You can hit control alt delete. Go ahead and take your CD out. And if everything went good, we should be able to get into Windows without a password. And that's pretty much it. Appreciate y'all watching. Um, 
subscribe. Uh, I'm going to be putting up a lot more videos, um, LCD replacements, uh, virus removal, all kinds of different stuff, uh, how to do a tune-up, get your computer running a little bit faster, uh, with links, of course, to all the, all the software that I use. Um, so feel free to subscribe, uh, leave some comments, questions, uh, I'll, I'll answer you, um, and I appreciate it. Thanks.